it's Labor Day weekend and I'm at the thrift store St. Vincent de Paul let's see what I can find to flip for a profit So it looks like pink tags are the ones I'm going to be looking for today. It's salt and pepper shakers, but they're like attached to each other. Made in Japan. Dollar ninety-nine. I don't know. Got some condition issues. I gotta think about it. Yeah. Mm, I'm thinking it's going to stay right there. I love these. I have sold these types of glasses before in the past. They had a different color stem, but I thought, let me just put them in the cart and then I'll take a closer look at them later. They wanted a dollar ninety-nine each for them. Finding anything interesting. Um, these, I'm actually friends with a um, family that owns a cafe, and I thought these would be fantastic, like little either espresso or tasting mugs for them, because they make so many varieties of coffee. These aren't marked, but they definitely look vintage. Pink tags are 50% off. These are all green. I picked up this pink tag item. It would have cost me $2.50. I was not familiar with the brand. I did look it up, and they don't go for my so I ended up leaving it. Actually, here's one, Mom. I know, I saw that. That is so cute. I'm still... It's such a pain. If you yeah. are right there. Yeah, I'm still debating about that one. I looked down the clear glass aisle and down the dish aisle and then headed over to the seasonal area. This was kind of cute but I don't think it's vintage. I don't think I would eat a cupcake with a giant eyeball on it. This was so adorable. I just love the colors on it. It's one of those rug kits, but they had framed it. The thrift store wanted $10.99 for it. It was just adorable. I'm scared. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. We are off to our second thrift store. We went to the Salvation Army. It is Labor Day and I'm heading into the Salvation Army to see what I can find. I'm hoping that they have good sales today. This is so cute. You're hanging up in your laundry room, and as you find your lost socks, you just pin them to the line. This is part of a hobbyist piece, and I've actually sold the bigger giant potato. I found this Hazel Atlas milk glass dish shaped like a pear. They wanted $3.99 for it, but they don't sell for much. I already have a box of this same set that I got from a garage clear out, but I was tempted to get this 
It was 14 pieces for $15.99. That's a really good price. This Japanese hand-painted tray caught my eye. They wanted $3.99 for it. When I turned it over, it said Nippon. So then I definitely wanted it into the cart it goes. The other item in the cart is actually my daughter's. This was a darling little creamer, and you don't normally see them with plates. This is false graph. I'm always saying this, I wish false graph sold for more. This is actually a cookie jar that looks like a slow cooker. Looks like they just want under $10 for it, but it is chipped. My daughter and I are checking out this set of vintage dishes. I love the flowers and the colors on them. They were nataki, but they did have a lot of wear on them, so I did leave them behind. Here my daughter is pointing out that there's all kinds of marks all over this Nippon plate. I really wanted to buy this, but it's too damaged, so back on the shelf it goes. Just found the teacups and saucers to that false graph creamer that I had found earlier. There was a few smalls over here that I was looking at, but when you look up, look at that giant horse. I believe it's for the American Girl dolls, but I didn't actually reach it down to take a better look at it. Lovely platter. I just love the colors on it. Of course, there's chips. It is Fitz and Floyd, and they still wanted $12.99 for it. These vegetable bowls caught my eye. I was like, oh, they're pretty cool looking. Turns out they're Williams and Sonoma. But unfortunately, the thrift store had them priced higher than what you can sell them for. This item is $12.99. It's the Longaberger pottery. You never see the Crocs with their lids. But I can't pay $12.99 for it. This is a third thrift store. It is also a Salvation Army. I haven't seen these in a while. Lots of jewelry bags and jars. They were priced as low as $10 and as high as $100. to Geary. Yellow tags are 50% off. Makes it $4.50. That is hilarious looking. It's $3.99. I can't get over the eyes. All of these dishes that I'm showing you, this matching set, that it is all part of a false graph set. And my daughter-in-law actually got this as her wedding dishes. It was on her registry, so she has all of the plates and bowls. Found a bunch of salt and pepper shakers. Was hoping there might be something interesting in these sets.
This one was really unique and it's 50% off so I'm going to take a chance on it. I did do Google Lens and this is what came up. Taking a look at these vases, I really liked this one, but it had cracks all over it. I'm looking through the framed pictures and I spy the little squirrel. He is adorable. He's yellow tagged $6.99, but half off. I think he is going to go in the cart. Now I'm excited to look through more of these framed pictures. You never know what's hiding. Ooh, look at that. That is a cross stitch. It is beautiful. Here's me trying to turn it over with one hand. Framed by Michaels. Beautiful stitching on that, $9.99. Yes, in the cart it goes. I usually don't take the time to look through these stacks, but now I'm curious. Let's just keep setting them over here and see if there's anything interesting That frame's all beat up. And look at that. Another beautiful cross stitch. I just love it. It's $8.99. Here's another stack I want to look through because I'm interested in that third one. That is signed. It looks like it might be hand painted. Let's see what it is. Ooh, it's an owl. Margie painted it. That is awesome. $6.99. And it's got its hanging hardware. Always check for that. In the cart. I'm seeing a theme in my cart at the moment. This looked pretty interesting on the shelf. I love that it's a butterfly. It is handmade. $5.99. It's very lightweight. It does have its hanging hardware. But I decided to leave it behind. Let's look through these baskets of the small pictures and see if there's anything I can go home with. That's cute. Oh, look at the little boy feeding his chicken. $1.99. On wood. I think I'm going to put him in the cart. There's something about it. It looks very vintage to me. There's the Last Supper. A plaque to your mother. That says Star Wars. Let's see what it is. Oh, I can't get it. It's caught. It's Baby Yoda. So adorable. I love him. The child. This is really lightweight. The 
the bunnies were cute. Two ninety nine for the bunnies. When you can't sleep, don't count sheep. Talk to the shepherd. And this is a mirror. That is kind of vintage, but I'm going to leave that there. Let's go to the second basket. I love the colors on this. It is chipped up and it's stoneware. Got to switch hands here. Interesting. When all else fails, hug a dog. Cute little signs. Take me to Paris. Yes. There is the Pope. Some angels. So nothing in this basket really caught my eye. This is still really cute. It says, look for the angels in your life. They are everywhere. I saw these hanging up on the wall, skiing the moguls. Could you imagine? Look at those moguls. I had to giggle at that. And then this one says, tips up. When you're skiing powder, yes, but not quite like that. <laughs> and him looking down on top of the hill yeah i would not want to ski that taking a quick look through the baskets but i always have a hard time because they always want too much for them Then I looked up and I saw this canister set. I'm like, wow, that looks really neat. Let's see how much they're asking for this set of four. $19.99. This small one has a plastic liner in it too. You'll have to wait and see if this made it into the cart. I always look at dishes that have the Christmas tree on them to see if they are spowed. This was $5.99. This one is actually the Nico, made in Japan. It is vintage, but not the one I'm looking for. Then I saw this deviled egg dish. I recognized it right away because I've actually sold it before. They wanted $5.99 for this plate. It only sells for 10 to $12. It's made by ENR American Artware. Now I'm just looking down along where the teapots and creamers are. This pair of salt and pepper shakers are $3.99. This pastel floral gravy boat caught my eye. Made by McCrory. Definitely vintage. But this back here, I really wanted to take a look at. $3.99, yellow tag, half off. It's a planter. I'm always attracted to bright colors. This divided dish with a handle on it caught my eye. They wanted $15.99 for it, which is way too much. I would not pay that much for an item like this. It's Crooksville, USA. If it had been a lower price, I definitely would have put that in my cart. This is a little bowl 
made by Ray Dunn. I just found mugs in that same pattern. They wanted $2.99. It is half off, but I'm going to leave it. I like the pink on these dishes. It was a set of haul bowls for $5.99 each. Just too much for me to put in my cart. This item caught my eye. I just thought it was adorable looking for Christmas. They wanted $6.99 for it. I wasn't expecting it to be false graph. As I turned the corner to the clear glass, that stood out. And of course, it's the bottom of a hen on a nest. That would be the nest part. Wonder what happened to the top of it. In the figurine aisle, this is what I started seeing. So many bears, it looked like it would never end. These were just so adorable and cute. So many of them. It's obviously somebody's collection that got donated. I hope somebody finds these adorable and buys a few. They just weren't for me. So the yellow tags were 50% off, but most of what I got was not yellow tag. But my total spend was $59.28. I'm pretty happy with all of my finds. I will do a haul later. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.